Yeah, it's really important to stay true to your roots. Uh, I've had a lot of friends and family that I've been surrounded by, so it's been easy to remember where I came from and keep it really passionate and authentic. It's helped me stay true to myself. I've never been to Venice, Italy before. Uh, one of the most surreal places I've ever been. The people have been so kind and generous, and the buildings are beautiful. Everything in, in Venice, Italy, is you know a piece of art. It's, you could tell people have really put a lot of work into building it. Uh, water is beautiful. Sunsets are amazing. So much to do. Uh, it's, Definitely one of the craziest places I've ever been, and I'd love to go back very soon. I don't know, dude, I've never been in a place like this. And, uh, I'm trying to take it all in. Couldn't ask for a better experience. From Venice to Venice, I've definitely noticed some similarities. Just the culture, the vibe, you know, people are always out having fun, smiling, enjoying themselves, uh, surrounded by water. Uh, it's very beautiful, authentic. Definitely see why people love the two places. The medal to me means uh, so much more than a reward. The whole experience has been crazy since, you know, since day one when we started our journey towards the Olympics and, you know, to come out with a medal and just spread love and positivity and the feedback that I've gotten has been absolutely amazing. Celebrating the success of it has been crazy. I wouldn't really call it a success, you know, we're celebrating the, the love, the passion, dedication, determination, qualities that everybody as a skateboarder, you know, shares within each other. And uh, I think that's the important thing is to just spread that and, you know, keep going and keep pushing and keep growing and keep doing your thing and stay authentic and original and, you know, spread love and originality and, you know, let people know it's okay to be yourself and do what you love. Yeah, to take the Bastard Bowl and put it on a boat in the canal in Venice, Italy is one of the most surreal things you know, anybody has ever seen and and share these moments with all the local skaters and you know share their culture with me has been crazy and a, uh, you know very appreciative and I think we all went out and had time of our lives and it was so many beautiful moments this week. I skated in Tokyo with Rune Glyphberg. Uh, might have seemed like we were competing against each other, but he's been a huge mentor of mine since I started skateboarding. Uh, I've always looked up to him. You know, he's just like so original and have them out here and, you know, just skate together. It's just a couldn't have asked for a better time. To bring the Bastard Bowl back to Venice is, you know, it's, it's, cr it's crazy. People have skated the ramp forever. It's iconic, you know, so many events, so many people uh, skated it and just to, have something that was torn down and be rebuilt for the community is beautiful, you know? We're, we're all about giving back, and, and the greatest thing about the Bastard Bowl is it's iconic to Italy. It'll live on for generations and generations. Keep it going, keep giving back, and, you know, keep shredding. To, you know, be brought in with the Golden Goose family has been one of the greatest things that have happened in my life, and. Like these moments we've shared together will, you know, live on in my memory forever and I'll always cherish this. You know, to be welcomed into a family like that is is absolutely beautiful and very humbling. You know, I couldn't I couldn't ask to be in, in a better place in the world right now. Alright boy, you just got on my boat. Where are we sailing next? <laughs> oh, that's actually my boat. <laughs> Such a trip. I swear, it got me all, all excited. Oh! Just on the other side, like there.